Hello wrestling fans, quick Christmas. Hey, that's me. And today I'm with Jeremiah Plunkett. Yellow again, everybody. Jeremiah Plunkett and Quentin Charisma. Once again, we are smack dab on ringside and ready to go with another big week of the Territorial Wrestling Review Podcast. Quentin, uh, how you doing, my friend? What? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I said, how are you doing, my friend? How? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I keep looking on my screen. is frozen. It's changing up like every minute. It'll change, unfreeze for a split second. So you're like, <laughs> your face can change <laughs> We're having technical difficulties recording. Um, Quint, apparently, my video on Quentin's side keeps randomly freezing, and he keeps dying laughing at the faces I'm making, apparently. So <laughs> at, any, like, at any time during this podcast, he could just bust out laughing. Because it, well, it doesn't freeze like you're looking normal. It's like when you're, you're – always like in mid-movement mid, uh, mid or something, and you're, it just – yeah, and I'm, I'm, a very big, I'm a very big hands talker, too. So I, I imagine that I'm looking pretty wild sometimes. Yeah, so I'm going to try not to look at it and laugh. But besides that, I guess I'm all right. That's all I ask. Try not to look at it and laugh. <laughs> How many times have I heard that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I said that. Hey! <laughs> How you doing today, man? Uh, we had a little time off. I, I was off on a honeymoon, and then I got to watch my, my Packers the, the only unbeaten team in the NFL, the Arizona Cardinals, last night. And now here we are recording. Yeah. Yeah. A little honeymoon and then the big win, the interception from nowhere. <laughs> Out of yeah. nowhere. Well, I mean, I mean two, yeah. two, two wins. One of them was a little more one-sided than the other. Because believe me, I watched yeah. the games while we were gone. <laughs> so three three games since, since we last recorded, I guess. Oh, man. Yeah, that interception was crazy. Well, you that well, I've been up to at least as possible. <laughs> Any new finds on the uh, UWA? No, still the. Um, okay, my screen just pops something up. My my, I don't know what's going on, on my side here. Something just popped back up. Uh, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay, because something popped up on my screen. I don't know what the crap happened, but uh, well, I don't know. There ain't been nothing new. No found yet. The I said that guy said that um he might have some stuff, you know, in a few months maybe. So it'll uh, have to wait and see. So hopefully will. But uh, that's about all I know on that end. <laughs> I got much information on that. <laughs> well, I've got something special to share after we watch the match. Um, I normally don't get up on here and give reviews or or uh, or complain about hotels or restaurants, but. I've got one loaded in the chamber after this trip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've got an, an, an epic hotel burial, um, <laughs> but I want to get the match out of the way first because I have no idea how long this takes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So what are we doing? Because we, we even forgot what we were doing for a minute there. <laughs> Where were we yeah. going? Yeah. So we are going back uh, to Houston, Texas. It's been a real safe bet for us. Uh, this is brought to us on YouTube by our friend Rob D. The match is Billy Robinson versus Dory Funk Jr. from the Sam Houston Coliseum, taking place on January 16th, 1981. Yep. This is fresh off his Memphis run, or he was the um, CWA World Champion. And from what all I've read, he was he took the belt with him, and the belt's never been seen again. <laughs> he was probably well, owed at least that much money. I don't know. Jerry Jarrett paid got some guys good, you know. Because Dundee, Mantel, they wouldn't have stuck around as much as they did if they didn't get paid good, you know. Yeah. Because they could, you know, well, Dutch, he did venture out, but he would always come back, though. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm sure he got paid good. No, uh, Robinson got paid good because, you know, Valiant got paid good in that time because, they, you know, they were hurting because, you know, Lawler was gone, hurt. So, you know, they were grasping at straws. So, I'm sure that. That um, they were paying people to cook, you know. And remind me after this over, I've been a lot of thinking about that. Something I, I think Jerry, Jerry might have messed up on that time period about. All right. Yeah, remind well, me I definitely that. remind you about that. I'm interested in that. Yeah. But yeah. well, let's go ahead so, and get this match watched. Are you set up on triple zeros? Who's it? Who's who's doing it? You say he was doing it? Who was doing what? This video. Who oh, who uploaded it? Yes, it was brought to us by Rob D. Okay, I don't know if you tell him or not. <laughs> you probably did, and I just overlooked it. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm I'm ready to roll when you're ready to roll. All right, guys, get zeroed out, and we're going to hit play in three, two, one, play. 
Nice little jacket there, ain't it? Yeah. That's fancy. It's fancy for – oh, what else is he holding? That's, that's the fancy. thing is. Yeah, that's the CWA title. That's the belt. Yep. Holy smokes. I'll be dead gumped. Well, well, look at that. You need to look on um, our episode, look up and see um, – when the last time it was defend, defended in Memphis. So I think he was gone by 80, in 80, by 81. I think he was gone. So, wow. Now this is really, it's, this is um, old, but still in shape. It's still in shape, but not, he's old in shape, Robinson. I guess that's where you'd say it. Over the bogging that hip toss. Oh yeah, this is going to be two guys. I think trying each other a little bit. Like I, I, a hundred percent guarantee they're going to be professional. But you know, these are two shooters. Oh. Like they're yeah. trying each other. Yeah. Oh yeah. Glory Funks. He's twenty-eight, but he looks like fifty-eight. <laughs> Oh, he's got to be older than 28, but still. I know. I just, I just try to be funny. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> but he's yeah, he always still, looked older. In, yeah, in fairness, he still looks the same age. Yeah. Man, nah, he looks a little older now, but. Yeah, but, I mean, he from like 75 to like 95, he looked the same. Oh, nice takeover there. I think he's got a top wrist slot. Well, we couldn't tell now. No head scissors. Yeah, this is going to be real scientific right here. Yeah, scientific, but like rough, not pretty scientific. You know what I mean? It's going to oh, be no, pretty no. pretty and soft. It's not going to be like the uh, smooth um, uh, British style. It's not going to be smooth. It's going to be struggle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to make it look like it's a struggle instead of that smoothness of the British style. Let's see. Oh, he's going down. I don't think we're going to see the stomp of the hands, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Billy Robinson brought it with him from Memphis. He said, hey, do this. Yeah. And George's like, that's yeah, stupid. Yeah. Keep that in Memphis. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. That's oh, oh yeah, no, this little combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's, that that's a Billy Robinson cool. trademark. Like, that's like that's like an every match thing. Yeah. That's sweet. I'm trying to say the breath is. Oh, a little testy. My push, both of them pushing the ref out of the way. <laughs> Look at the ref. I see, you know what the ref looks like? Who's that? He looks like Jim Jameson. It may be. Who knows? Like he went to <laughs> he rode he rode down with uh, Robinson from Memphis. <laughs> yeah. Side headlock. What are we going to do from here? Zoom out, camera. Good grief. We're going to sit here a little bit. Oh, I wish we could have zoomed out. Could have seen how, like a little back kick or something. Do you see that? Uh, it's probably like a martial art because Billy Robinson did all those like martial arts chops kind of thing yeah. that they would call judo, even though it's not judo at all. Yeah. <laughs> Judy chop. Oh, there it was. That's what it was. He kicks the, he kicks the wrist to break it. That's what it was. Yeah, he kicks the wrist to break the to break Dory from hope from that's what it was. I thought he was gonna grab the tights, but actually he just grabbed his lower back. Yeah, and the ref didn't even come close to counting shoulders. Uh oh. <laughs> what the <laughs> little little, <laughs> little delay. And Dory's like, uh, that's what sell that? <laughs> You must learn that Memphis doesn't sing you to a punch ever. <laughs> That's old, been too light. Doris used to get hit. Yeah. A little testy there. Oh, that's nice. I don't think I've seen that before. Have you? This little hip check? Oh, or a little shoulder check into the arm? Yeah. Yeah. I, I've I like never that. seen it in your release. I've always seen it and they hold it. 
But it looks yeah. better when you release it like that. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. man. That was nice. Oh, that was awesome. Because there was no delay. Like, you usually sit and no, it looks horrible because they, you know, but it was all one motion. Wow. Yeah, it, it did. He did. He he launched himself, but it didn't look like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Robinson's a good two seventy five at least. Wow, well, I thought he was going to sell that a lot more. <laughs> well, that's, that's, a, that's a big bump in the match, and he's just fired up from it. Well, I guess he's not used to taking those bumps and know how to sell them because <laughs> he used to not take them. <laughs> And Dory's just taking the powder. Well, so what do you think Robinson is weight-wise? Billy Robinson wasn't overly tall. I mean, he's a big guy, but he wasn't super tall. I think he's about 275 here. Yeah, that, that, I seem to think that's what I always heard him announce that. He looks, he looks about legit 275. <clears throat> yeah, he's a – but he, like you said, he's that he's – that, it looks like he's got a gut, but he's also got abs that poke through. It's weird. He's, he's got like old man the, old, the old man in shape. You know, he was in shape all his life. Now he's old. Oh, that was a nice release backbreaker. Did you see that? Well, that was his finish in Memphis. Oh, was it? That's what, that's what he finished seen. job matches with. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Come on, hit him some of the His oars are good, too. The uppercuts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the old lifter. I like I like to see them trade those right then. Oh, you better believe nowadays doors are would, coming. Nowadays they would went back and forth trading one two in them. Oh, one with a bear hug. You want to suplex him? No, I'm just gonna wear him down. Robinson did throw a, a fair amount of suplexes though, didn't he? He's he's kind of yeah. ahead of his time in that. Yeah. If you weren't seeing suplexes in Memphis. If you were, it was like a, a vertical every now and then. Yeah. You know, maybe a belly to back. I know Robinson was throwing the butterfly suplexes and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, door go for a headlock. Oh, nice such. Oh, oh, that is. You know how I ever see somebody go from a headlock into a backbreaker, you know? So. So I used to do that backbreaker some. From a head, from, from you being in a headlock? Yeah. Oh, it was from watching Billy Robinson. I, I stole I stole it from wow. Billy Robinson, hundred um, percent. But then it started getting like I would switch up knees and look stupid, so I stopped mm -hmm. doing it because I started making myself. Oh, he got some torque on them shoulders. Look. Oh. Yeah. And and having shoulder surgery that looks uncomfortable. Yeah, that that's snug, dude. He's trying to twist his way out. Oh, he blocked it. He's, Robinson's blocking it by spreading out that. Oh, he got him back in it. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. That's sweet. That is sweet right there. Dang. Does your got an ad coming up? No. Mine says ad. My ad just popped up. Pause it. Because I got to add. It says I can okay. skip it. I'm going to skip it right now. Okay. I'm back. All right. I can't believe I had to add and you didn't. That's crazy. Yeah, that's rare. That doesn't happen often. Mm -mm. That's odd. Dory's trying to. Oh, Dory's back reversed it. Hopefully we're, we're synced up again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are. Did Dory just go to a knee? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty much synced up. Oh, he's putting his so he got his knee in the back of his neck. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're synced up, dude. We're between the shoulder blades. Well, that area is somewhere. I'm like, well, come back now. Yeah, this is this he's doing he's doing some real vicious like double shoulder work. And they're really and working the, this. And I got the head there. And he shook his head. No, nope, he ain't getting out of it. Oh, he can reverse it. There he goes. He's got him. He's got him, maybe. 
Oh, All oh, way through. oh, 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 kept spinning. Knew like the roll through the was coming. Yeah. Look at the muscular. Oh. Ah, there it is. Look at this. Oh. oh. oh that was a nice little sequence, wasn't it? Yeah, they just they, they missed time the, the the bridge catch the first time, but yeah. They got there. Oh yeah. Sometimes a little sloppy looks better on some of that stuff because it looks too it can be too smooth look. Oh, there you go. Nice. Ooh. That wasn't even a lifter. That was just a little little That's flipper a little, forearm. Yeah. Look at that ref. That may be Jim Jameson. That does look a lot like him. From yeah. Oh, look at that. There one. It was. Ooh, ooh, that looked that was nice. Oh, Robinson pulling up the fist. Hey, bro, we time to get back. Time the ref to go on. It's on now. <laughs> this is good. This is some good, really good scientific wrestling. Got this snap headlock. Is he gonna shoot him off? Maybe. Here we go. No, we don't. He held on. <laughs> yeah, Robinson ain't running no ropes. There you go. Rolled him up. Yeah, this is a twenty foot ring. Not today. <laughs> From I'm behind, gonna sit, you know that looks like here right and I'm going to show my groin to the hard cam. You know why? Look who that is. He's showing it to. A uh, boy, get your crotch uh, out is, of my is face. Is that Barnett? It looks like him from behind, dude. I think that's why he was. It looks like him from behind. Uh oh, he's going to get him. Oh, he no saw it. <laughs> Hey man, knees of steel, shins of steel. What do they call it? The calf uh, or shin buster or whatever it is. Yeah, I've, I've seen the knee breaker, the shin buster. Yeah. He no sold him went for a side head like takeover. <laughs> I swear that looks like Barnett from behind. <laughs> you know, get showing my crush to Barnett. Maybe I'll get a little extra in the payoff. <laughs> Got him in the corner. Oh, there! Oh man, those European uppercuts are just those are just awesome. Look at it, man! Those look so good. Oh, and and the sell too. Robinson's selling. Yeah, it. yeah. There we go. Boom! Big buckle. Feeds out. Big slam. Boom! Big slam. Kick out. I swear mm -hmm. that's Barnett down there. They're going, they're going hard for the CWA world title. Well, it's in the front face lock. I can't believe we haven't had a pin yet. It's two out of three falls. Is it? Yeah, it's two out of three falls. Oh, oh, man. Good. Man, that looked nice. Him dropping all the way down. Makes him look better. Oh, man, he's just wearing him out with those uppercuts. Well, <laughs> I don't think Robinson was ready to go, was he? If he was, he wasn't going to make that front face like takeover look pretty. Uh uh. It kind of just fell to the side. <laughs> Is the game pinned? Can't, yep, two. And so I thought his shoulders down. The ref was just sitting there, like. Now he's getting back points. One, two, kicks out. Another cover. Two rolls out. All right, the fix to come back up. Here we go. He's gonna fight his way back up. Here we go. We're gonna get. I think it's weird that Robinson's the the baby face in Texas. 
it's not like the funks that I later they got in the crew, they were pretty much heels everywhere, it seemed like. We got a suplex. Oh, I like this uh, widespread block on that. Yeah, Jesus, you know, making himself heavier to pick up. Yeah. Trying to see what Robinson's doing. I get it. Well, you know, he, he, was, he was grabbing the, one of the arms. Man, yeah, I thought. I was going to try to reverse. Oh, here we go. Butterfly suplex. No. Box it. He ain't letting Dory get any of his stuff in. No. He's already took my big bump in the match. <laughs> He's blocking that widespread. In the ropes. Oh, man, those look so good. You know, another one? Bam. Zoom out, camera. Good grief. Oh, yeah. yeah if, a if, they were, if they were back like 50%, whoa, did get be a great <laughs> shot. Yeah. Well, uh oh. If I was going for sleep, like he's back. Man, gosh, those look so good. Looks like he's just taking his chin off, don't it? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Well, here. He shot him off. That, what was that? Uh, I, <laughs> I wasn't really a fry, flying burrito, more like a, a skipping taco, I guess. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. Is it with chin music? No, it kicked him in the knee. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Sweet shin oh. music. Shin music? <laughs> yeah. That's the old Here's cactus jack setup. Him. Or not oh. the old dude love setup to the double arm. Okay. He got it from Billy Robinson. Uh oh. Oh, another spot in the ropes. Here we go. Big oh, double down. Man, that rest count fast, ain't he? <laughs> Sure, the first falls on it. Jim, slow down. Slow down, Jim. Yeah, slow down, dude. Uh oh, here we go. He's winding up. Oh, I've never seen that. Have you? I always see him boot him off, you know, in the butt. And there's somebody roll through to, to roll out of the, on the spin. I, I think we did in another match we saw, but on, on the rollout, the other guy took the bump through the ropes. Okay. I'm trying to remember uh -oh. who it was. Oh, look a, at that. It was, it was a Noki and Destroyer. Okay. A Noki spun around and a Destroyer took the bump through the ropes. Okay. Got an octopus hold. Huh? Got a full on octopus hold. He's got the neck cranked and everything. I believe that's the octopus when the neck's cranked. I may be wrong. Uh, so octopus I, may be leg overhead, but yeah, I'm sorry, that's more. This is more of a just a hooking. It's the cobra dive. twist, right. huh? Cobra twist, yeah, cobra twist. Oh, there's your. <laughs> oh, he gets more of a uppercut than Dory does on his. Uh oh, line salt. I mean line tight. What is it? What's Chris Jericho <laughs> call it? Lion salt would make me lose my mind. <laughs> What's it called, it, though? Well, Lion Jericho, what are... Lion I just pictured Billy Robinson doing a springboard moonsault off the middle and about lost it. <laughs> you would if that would happen. You'd be like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that would have been the last yeah. episode of this podcast. Been like, I've seen everything. Yeah, I've seen everything now, so it's, we're done. I'm the old boss and crab. Oh, he's powering out. There you go. Roll through. He's in the ropes. He's under the rope. Was he under? He was under the rope. Okay. Yeah. Looks like he's. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he gets that big wind up on his. Yeah. Doors are roll. Oh, here we go. Belly to back. Oh, backbreaker. Ah, and he was working his knee. And he had yeah. he had Dory's back beat up. Yeah. Oh, oh, is this gonna be a? 
This be, a du- be a double finish. Here we go. Oh, Tally broke the count. Let's see. There he goes. What's he going to do? Look at Dory's leg. Oh, oh, look at that. That is, he's going to spin him oh. out. Here he goes. He's going to spin. No. Nope. Yeah. There he goes. I don't know how old Robinson is at this point. Oh, here we go. He's going to be super late. Yep. Oh, nice. Pretty. I can't believe they ain't got a fall yet as long as it's gone. I think this was two out of three. There we go. Oh, big hip toss. It can't be two out of three. <laughs> as long as they've gone. There we go. Cranking up on it. There he goes. Spin out of it. That is nice. Just roll right out. There you go. There's a <laughs> skipping taco. <laughs> Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, I want to get to a one two contest with those. I think we're going to see a ref bump. Y- yeah, probably. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He's in. Oh, I, I thought there for me, he was getting in between. Them. I was like, he's in the first one getting bumped. And he's got a standoff now, don't we? <laughs> no, he's like, get out of the way. <laughs> or maybe we're supposed to have a ref bump. He didn't. Okay, what? This is what we need to sound to figure out what's going on. <laughs> I, just turn, I just turned it on. I got to figure it out. So, what just happened? Hold on. Matches a draw. 20 minute draw. Wow. Hey, we actually saw a, um, oh, mine just popped up. Harley Race was Terry Funk in the NBA title match. Mine that popped up was the Andre match we watched. Oh, uh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is the last recorded title defense. For the uh, CWA belt? Yeah, that I'm seeing. Probably because he left with it. Oh, then- actually. I think at some point Billy loses it to Dory Funk Jr. But it does. It's going out of Memphis yeah. territory, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that, that, I think it's like, it's like on mine right here. It says, oh, one fall, 20 minute time limit. Okay. I thought it meant, uh, that was the first fall. Never mind. So it was a one, it was a 20 minute. That's the first, I guess the first we've seen that wasn't a two out of three falls from, from Houston, ain't it? <laughs> first title match for sure. Yeah. Even though I don't know if it was a title match or not. <laughs> he just had the belt. He took the belt with him when left the territory and might as well use it because Jarrett wasn't ever getting it back. So he might, have, I might get a little something out of it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so. That was a – oh, okay. I don't mean to change the subject, but popped up Billy Robson versus Carl Gotch. I'm going to click on it just to see. 19th, that's gonna, it's only four minutes, so it's got to be clips. Dang, gum it. It's only four minutes. Uh, April 2nd, 71. I bet you it's just clips. Dang. I was like, hey, we got, we got us something there, you know? <laughs> but uh, that was really good scientific wrestling back and forth and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, uh, I knew it would be that way, but I knew it would get vicious too. Yeah. It got with the, um, they'd fire up some, you know. Yeah. It was, um, that's really good. I like that. Some good stuff. Oh, something just popped up. It says Bill Rice versus Nick Bockwinkle, May 8, 1982. That's the one where they got, they stopped in the middle of the match, started yelling at each other. Have you ever seen that? No. Yeah. Something happens. They get, it's from Japan. In, uh, Something happened. They start yelling at each other. I think. I think it was trying. I say it's been years ago. Um, I think Bachman gets Matt Robinson because he's trying to shoot on him. He starts yelling <laughs> during the middle of the match. Oh but, my god! Uh, yeah, I, I'm, that's been. Oh, it's just been twenty years since I've seen that. At least. Oh, uh, but now that was a good match. It was really. Um, 
it was it was neat seeing the um um uh, when you got in the headlock back break out of the headlock you know, do a back break out of the headlock and the and the roll through on the on the on the spinning toe holes and that that whole thing that was all good stuff I mean, it didn't sound like it was 20 minutes it went by really fast um i like that it was good it was good just wrestling and uh it wasn't i think it's like it wasn't the um that british smooth everything wasn't so smooth like the british you know world of sport there was a little bit of herky-jerky stuff you know on the reversal so it made it look a little oh which i like it because sometimes the some of that world of sport kind of gets a little too smooth but on some of it but i thought it was, it was that was really good especially for robinson that age wow. Did you ever, did you look up to see how old he was at this time period? Uh, I have not. One second, I'll look he's that gotta up. He's got to be in his forties. I say he's like forties. See, he was born thirty eight. Thirty eight, forty eight, fifty eight, sixty eight, seventy eight. What year was this? Eighty one. So he's forty three. Yeah, man, he's forty three years old. And you got to think about it. their bodies though were a lot beat up than in their forties than guys now in their forties. You know. See, I disagree. And Cornette even said something about it. Like they're less beat up to a degree because they weren't taking as big of bumps, as many bumps. But they're doing it more. They're doing it more, but the wear and tear of just traveling in cars all those years. And that's I mean, just not just the ring, just the lifestyle. They didn't fly, you know, you didn't fly everywhere. Yeah. You know? And you think about it, three hours on a plane's a lot different than you got flying three hours and playing in a car and it's 10 hours. That's going to, that's going to take a lot of, you know, that's a lot of effect on the body, you know? No, no, absolutely. Trust me. Yeah, I, know. I mean, so, you know, it's, yeah, they did less, but just the lifestyle was harder on them than their bodies. But then again, they did, you know, they were working a lot of these places, you know, they might have one off day a week and then sometimes not have any off days a week. They're doing sometimes two pounds in one day. What was that? Did you hear a noise? I heard the noise. I don't know what it was. Okay, everything was so looks fine on my side. Except I still froze up, but um mm-hmm. the uh, but you think about it. okay, so if they work in say they work six nights, that's not counting the T V. Because most times where they work, they work a TV and a house show somewhere. You know? And and then sometimes some places you would double you would have two shows, you know, in some places. So yeah, I mean, you weren't doing, you might have been doing less bumps, but you were in, you work more matches, so it add up after, you know. So, I mean, it's, it go either way, I guess, but it just seems like the guys, their bodies at, back then at 40 look more rough than the bodies nowadays at 40, you know? Well, pe- people know, know more nowadays, too, about training and taking care of your bodies. Nobody took care of their body back then. No, you have time. I mean, because you, well, I mean, you didn't know how either. You, you drank a couple beers and then you left. No one, no one stretched back then. They, were, they smoked until someone said, hey, you're up. <laughs> smoked and drunk coffee. And then when you yeah. got done, you smoked and drunk beer. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The whole lifestyle is. It's, yeah, you know, it's totally different. Yeah. And, you know, so, I mean, it's just, that's why they look, oh, so I think that's why they look so much older because they're, everything, you know, but, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it was, he looked good for 40-something years old. Overall, it was a good, nice scientific match. Um, I like the heated exchange. I wish they would have gotten to some one-two exchanges on them uppercuts. That would have been nice. Um, but um, I, like, there was, I didn't really see nothing wrong with it. What do, you, what do you think about the overall of it? Oh, I enjoyed it. It was exactly what I, what I thought it would be. Uh, yeah. I thought it would be technical wrestling that got really chippy because both guys kind of had a chip on their shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really good. I, I definitely enjoyed it. And I have no idea where we're going So for next week. So chit-chat a minute, and I'll pull up my, my list, and I'll pick something out because I, <laughs> I didn't even know <laughs> what we were going to do this week. Okay, well, while, while you look, if you want, I can go ahead and go into my rant. All right. So so on this, uh, this trip, which this was essentially our uh, belated honeymoon, uh, we had five days at Disney, which was great. If you ever stay at a Disneyland property, they treat you great. The parks, besides being insanely busy, a couple, two of the four days we went to the parks, you know, was was great. Um, then our plan was to recover from Disney by going down to Daytona, going to Daytona Beach, 
and uh, we had got some tickets to or tickets. We got some rooms at a place called Perry's or- Ocean Side Resort. Um, and it's a place that's been around forever. Uh, and hey, man, as far as online reviews, solid. <laughs> yeah, you know, they said it was an older place and that it was going under some renovations. Mm-hmm. But other than that, everything was good. So we get there. Uh, off the bat, the ladies kind of, we may have per- perturbed her, but we didn't mean to. Um, basically, <laughs> we, book, we, we booked through Pi- Priceline. We booked two hotels, mm-hmm. one on the way down and then Perry's through Priceline. Uh, and the one on the way down took our full payment. And apparently Perry's just took the first night. So while mm-hmm. we're checking in, they said, hey, this much is due. And we were under the impression we paid it. So we're like, hey, can we see the paperwork where it just took one night? And the lady was really irritated that we asked. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's where, that's where I say, like, we could have unintentionally ca- caused that part. But, like, we didn't, I-, I will say we didn't ask in any rude way. We're just like, hey, we're in the impression we already paid for this. When we see the paperwork, only one night went out just for our records. That was it. But anyway, so we go to our room, uh, and it took us forever to find it. Because it's room 34. Well, room 34 is out front. So you you walk in, you walk up a set of stairs, walk around, walk down a set of stairs, walk outside, and then walk down a little outside area, and boom, there we are, right? So upon outside, not our AC, but the AC next to ours, the, they had a mm-hmm. drain pipe under it to, like, drain the water off of it. It's broken. Um, there is a, a vape of some sort. Just sitting right next to one of the patio chairs on our balcony area. Mm-hmm. Um, this is an oceanside resort. Yet our room, mm-hmm. instead of facing the ocean, which we didn't even want, you know, necessarily say an ocean view, but we're facing the A one A. We're facing the highway. <laughs> um, it's it's dirty outside our room. the The door looks beat to death. We open it. Christy's, Christy has to use the restroom because we've been on the road more than 30 minutes. So she runs straight in the bathroom and you know, doing, doing, the, doing the room check. And I see some. So a lot of places down there have that stucco, I guess, on everything. Yeah. Yeah. So I see some stucco on the wall peeled back and that doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. But then I look down and it looks like somebody got mad and kicked a hole in the wall. <laughs> so I, I take pictures and I'm like. You know, what do you want to do? We decide to go down and see if we can change room to pool. So when we say something about that, she goes, where's there a hole? Mind you, same lady we dealt with. Oh, yeah. And I go, ma'am, down. No, no, hot already. So that you really she's Yeah. I go, I, go, I go down at the floor by the bed. She goes, can I see a picture? I go, sure. I showed her the picture. And, and admittedly, like, there was a shadow over it. And she goes, that's just where the stucco scraped. I go, no, ma'am. And then, like, I made it brighter. And, like, you can <laughs> see it's a it looks like somebody kicked it with a boot and she goes, okay, I'll, I'll get you a different room. So she gets us a different room and it's in, they have an interior pool. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like a greenhouse in there. So that's how it keeps warm. So that was a little muggy, but whatever, that's where our room came out to. That's fine. So we get the new room. Um, the door frames beat to death and like all the carpet in, in inside that area has sand all over it, which I'm, a, I'm whatever with that. It's a, it's right by the beach. People don't clean their shoes off. That's not their fault. We we go in there again. I noticed the door frame is just beat to death. Um, but the room, but the room overall is fine, right? It's it's overall compared to the last one, it's fine. We're cool. Yeah. We we go out to eat. Well, I notice when we come back, our room's not shut. No one's been in there, but it's just <laughs> the door because the door frame's jacked up, uh-huh. or, or I feel like it has been broken into before. You uh-huh. have to pull or push the crap out of it to shut it so that that was a little worrisome then we took a shower it took the because sh- it's just a shower no tub it took the shower two hours to drain <laughs> but we we were happy when we found out it drank so we're like fine we can deal with that right we don't have to take a shower <laughs> more than once every two hours you know what i mean we're fine but then but then we tried to sleep on the bed and oh, no. this was so me uh have a bad back a little, little particular yeah. i got a total of maximum an hour of sleep uh, i would i would go to sleep for 10 minutes and then wake up because i was in pain and have to roll to a different position mm. and i was gonna tough it out man and uh christy saw me get up the next day and i was crumpled over she's like we're going somewhere else so we did and <laughs> you know, we made sure they're going to refund us and i'm waiting for that refund to come through 
but I've got 20 pictures and it was the, just the worst experience. Mm. We, we were bait and switch from what they showed online. Wow. And it really sucks because it is a really good like location and whatnot. Wow. Yeah. And I understand that they are, you know, undergoing renovations, but the whole, the, their attitude about the whole thing was made it worse. Yeah. Mm. But that, that was my burial and vamping. Did it give you enough time to find a match? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what to look for. It's like I got, like everything on my list, I was going to pick one, but it was Dory Funk Jr. And I thought we just watched one of his matches. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to find something. Um. <laughs> so what did y'all do in Daytona then? Actually, you did get a room. Oh, nothing. No, no. We we left. We left Daytona. Um, oh, I thought you got them somewhere else in Daytona. No. Oh, we we decided we we're just going to start just do something on the fly. So we started heading back north, and we uh, let's see. We stopped in St. Augustine. Mm-hmm. We went we went to the Fountain of Youth and explored okay. the the whole little village around there. Uh, we did that. Then we went up to Jacksonville because we were un, under the impression that that. Uh, that infamous sculpture that they're talking talking about building down there. It's supposed to say J A X, but when you look at it, it looks like it spells lerp or sex, or it's one of those artistic things that looks different from different ways. So we went down there to see that. Uh, it hasn't been built yet, so every every picture we've seen has been like a computer generated thing. Uh-huh. So that was kind of funny. But we got to hang out in Friendship Park in uh, Jacksonville. Uh, we ate what a burger for the first time. How'd you like it? I liked it. So here's here's what a burger to me. It's uh the burger to me is like a Sonic burger, but a little bit better. And the fries are like McDonald's old fries, McDonald's OG mm-hmm. fries. Yeah. Before they changed their recipe or whatever. So I thought it was really good. And they're like uh oh god, I'm trying to think what restaurant it is. I think it's Hardee's to where like a medium drink is a giant drink. <laughs> they're they're like that. Like we got the you know, just the medium combo. Yeah. And decent amount of fries, but the drink was massive. The drink was a large at McDonald's. <laughs> so, um, but no, that, that was good. Uh, we stopped at two different Bucky's. Mm. That is now my oh, favorite oh. Conven- convenience store. Those things are awesome. <laughs> got me a Bucky's t shirt. Oh. Got me a brisket taco. Like it was good times. Uh, and then we ended up staying in Jekyll Island, Georgia. What, what, what was it? Jekyll Island. Jekyll? Yeah, it's off the coast over by like Savannah and stuff like that. Okay. Around the Savannah area. Uh, It's real nice. Um, So I I didn't sleep the best while we were gone. My back was just so jacked from Daytona Mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, even in the the place we stayed there was great. And they're they're like, I say they're private islands and they kind of are, but like anyone can stay there or anything. But it's just, you know, a little remote island. Um, What did we do? We didn't do a lot like we because we're just kind of trying to rest. And I was going off yeah. one hour of sleep. The first thing I did was lay down, and take a nap. <laughs> um, but I know, I know. One day we went. They have like a uh, a sea turtle rescue there because that's mm. a big thing off those Georgia coast islands, is, especially this time of year. Sea turtles go and lay their really? eggs. Yeah, so they have a sea huh. turtle rescue there. So we, you know, Pay did that and saw all the stuff there, and that was really cool. They did some real cool work. We had some good food. Uh, they have a driftwood beach there. It's real kind of like haunting looking. It's that all, all sorts of driftwood and dead trees and stuff is washed up on, and it's real crazy looking. Huh. So we, like, walked that, and, you know, and that was about it. And then we, we were going to drive back Monday morning, and honestly, I, it was another night that I couldn't sleep. Uh, she went to sleep at, like, 8 because we were going to wake up at 5, and then she woke up at, at 11 because I was tossing and turning, and she was wide awake. So we just decided to hit the road, and we drove through the night. Huh. Drove through the night and got well, home. Hmm. Sounds um, eventful. <laughs> yeah. Not not very restful. The we got more rest at Disney than we did on what was supposed I would to be the say, rest uh, at Disney. I was what you was trying, what you were going for, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it wasn't at all what we were going for. But but that kind of put a kink in your plans when you <laughs> you got the, <laughs> the uh, man. Yeah, my back. The hotel room. Room. Yeah, that's I'm always worried about um, is the uh, the hotel room. Yeah, I, I normally never have trouble with beds, man. Like usually pillows are kind of crappy. Yeah, but I can I can deal with my neck being sore more than I can my lower back being sore. It was bad, man. Like it was sciatica shooting down my left leg yeah. and like my ankle. It was rough. Mm. 
I think I found my room to go to. All right. It's really, it's kind of, it's different. I found something really different. Well, you okay, got it. I just passed it up. Dang, coming, hold on. Where'd it go? Well, crap. All right. We're going to Japan. January 16th, 1980. IWE. Ashura Hara versus Gypsy Joe. Awesome. In a cage, right? In a cage, yep. <laughs> How'd you know? Well, because I, I saw the I saw it one because I was looking it up as you were saying it. Oh, it's from our good friend Roy Lusher at Roy Lusher's Japanese Classics. Oh, I wonder if this is the one. Is it 1954? What? What'd you say? You said, is it 1954? Before that, what did you, did you say? Is this the one? I, yeah, I'm wondering if this is the one that Joe comes off the top. Probably. Well, I mean, I'm sure he did it a lot. But yeah, like 80, yeah, he's still really, yeah, I'm sure. And so this was like the probably the final couple of years of the IWE. Yeah, I don't remember them. We, we had looked around right. how long they had lasted before, and I can't remember, but was they hung on for a while for a while because wasn't it like 81? Didn't they do a 81? Yeah, that's they, when they closed shop. Yeah, so this was the final days, but I'm looking at their stuff. Um, because there's another match with um Hara and the Mighty Inoue against Joe and Carl Fergie. Uh, 79, Vern Gagne was there, Dick the Bruiser was there in 80, like smearing off in 79. Uh, Masa Saito was there in 79, I can't see. Uh, Nelson Royal was there in 79, Superstar Graham was there in 79. Simone's there. I think it says 79 or 80. Luthez, 79. So they were still, they were getting some of the older um, American guys there, young and older. They were getting, and it looked like they had a lot of the older, um, well, they're starting to get older Japanese guys like Animal, I don't know how you say his name, Hama, Hamaguchi. He was there, and um, Manosuke Uda, Russia Kimura, those guys uh, were starting to get up their little age and, um, yeah, so Joe, were, Joe feuded with Russia, uh, with uh, Russia Kamara, did he not? Yeah, a lot, a lot, off and on. There's another one, Russia Kamara against Sailor White. Sailor White was about on his last. He got so much heat here in America around that time period. Uh, Big John Quinn. Yeah, there's a lot of Mike Mike Martel, Pierre Martin, uh, Torakama. Yeah, there's a lot of the older and younger Americans and a lot of the older Japanese work. Look like they worked this toward the end. Yeah, here's a match: Russell Kamara, Gypsy Joe, IWE, uh, seventy uh, December third, seventy six. Man, man, I should have picked that one. Yeah, they they've had a off and on um, for a long time in Japan. Uh, so IWE was still, like I said, it was still getting you know the New Japan All Japan was getting the main guys, but it seemed like that IWE in the last three or four years were getting the older Americans and younger Americans, and it looks like a lot of the older Japanese. Were in the IWE, but I know a lot of these names. They did hook up with All Japan after they they the IWE shut down. I do know I know some of these, but yeah, I want to check into more of this late IWE because it, it seems like it's got a lot of like looks like it's some really good talent. Yeah, I want to check out some more of this IWE stuff. So that's our match. So it's yeah, gonna hey, be any, any excuse to watch uh watch a little Papa Joe. I'm good with. Yeah, it's a cage. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's one where he comes off the top of the cage. Um, hey, I'm watching, uh, not watching, but I, I see one of the suggested ones from this is Ashirahara and Mighty Inau or whatever versus Gypsy Joe and our good friend Carl Fergie. Yeah, I said that one. Yeah, that was what popped up first. I was going to I was going to pick that one and then I went like one over and I saw the cage one. I was like, oh, I'm going to do that one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So Fergie was young, was young. I'm saying they were getting some of the older Americans. And some of the younger ones, you know. Carl Fergie. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to check into some of this IWE later, in their later days. Just, it looks like they had some good talent. Yeah. It's kind of odd. Is it a Vern, um, on this one's from 79, he's working horror from 1979. Was, I'm trying to think. I don't think they had a an affiliation with anybody. No, I see, uh, I see another one with Nelson Royal working horror yeah. in 79. That, that's your NWO. World Junior Heavyweight Champion, by God. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to hit something. Is that, yeah. I'm trying to see if he has the belt. Because I think, actually, yeah. Because at 79, he dropped it to 
Les Thornton for the first time. I, I, uh, so it might be in between title runs. Now it says NWA something, so he might it might be for the belt. It might be. Well, the banner I saw a banner says AWA IWE Championship Wrestling. Yeah, he's got the belt. Well, he's got one of the belts. That's not the well. I can't see it. That's not the big uh, big white one. Look, that this is the is the referee for this. This is great for an audio podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. Oh, it's, it said um, AWA IWA. So I guess they didn't have a relationship with anybody. They just they were independent. So, but I don't think the belt that Royals got. That's not the you know the white junior belt. Yeah, from the seventy percent. It's the round circles. Mm-hmm. This is this look actually. This almost looks like the Mid America belt. It does look. It's like a gold version of the Mid America belt he's got on. All right, Super World. Yeah, that's no, that's a gimmick belt. It's not a. That's not an NWA belt he's got. He's just got a lightweight belt on. So I don't know what they're calling it, but yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna check out some side of you. So anybody who's listening, if you're still listening, we haven't bored you off off, the, off from here. Uh, go check out some of this late. 70s, I mean, it's IWE. It looks like it's going to, it's really, really good. So, um, I don't know, my screen's froze up. Can you see me? Yeah. Can you see me? Okay. So, yeah. I, I, I can't see you, but you see me, but I need to uh, grab this right here and I'll let you talk for, for a second. <laughs> I got to ra- rearrange some stuff. Or I'll just cut it. <laughs> Yeah, I've never really back in the, t- the tape trading. IWE wasn't out there. You couldn't find no IWE anywhere. You find matches here and there, you know, scattered, but uh, like whole episodes and stuff or whole matches, it just wasn't out there, you know. I wonder why that is. I just I don't know. Stuff just wasn't a, stuff just wasn't available. A lot of stuff was available then, yeah. I mean, it was so so, like, so much other obscure stuff was available then. You know what I mean? Like when well, you, when you when you were a tape trader, people were tape trading Michinoku Pro, and I fi- I figured this would be more readily available and stuff like that. Well, not because you because Michinoku Pro at the time was coming on TV. Was it really? Yeah, in Japan. Uh, well, I see what you're saying. Okay, I, yeah, I, was, see, it, I was thinking the states, and I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that they made. Come on, <laughs> but no. If it was on TV in Japan, you know that that's where you know that the tape trade market from Japan was huge, especially in the late eighties, early nineties. You know, so yeah, so excuse me. And they had the uh, what was like the there was like an eight uh, a new the all Japan show. It showed like old stuff. I think it was either old Japan or all Japan, new Japan or all Japan. I think one of them had like a, a, a show show like classics, uh, um, so you could get some old stuff from that. But yeah, and the Japan stuff's always been more um, available. Current, you know, the current product of whatever the time is, um, especially from like the late '80s on, because it was getting recorded and you had your big um, tape trade people, you know, that got it and then they'd get funneled out, you know, to people. And uh, but the IWE, I don't know, it just never. I never saw a lot of it on people's list. Um, you know, always just see the New Japan, All Japan, and uh, you start seeing the uh, uh, Wing, FMW, IWA, you know, you see that stuff. And later on, the, um, like I said, the Mission Nuku Pro. And so um, you just never saw a lot of the IWA. And so I'm, I'm we'll watch a little bit of it when I get some, get some time. So, but uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be different. Um, be a lot of brawling, the Joe match. There's a cage, so be something different. So, yeah, no, I'm a, I'm super excited to watch it. Like I said, I love watching any Joe, and I, but I really love watching you know younger Joe when he is really yeah really in his prime. Yeah, hey, which he really was younger Joe, but he was younger Joe for what we but out there on tape. So, um, so yeah, that'd be pretty good. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I, I haven't had a bomb in a while, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it won't be. Well, if we get if we get, at least get the cage dive off the top of the cage, it'd be worth it. Oh, it'll absolutely be worth it. That'd be worth it for it for it alone. Well, all right. So what? Uh, so did you go? Did you watch the AEW 
Well, you had a chance to watch it on vacation since you don't have it at home. <laughs> Didn't have a chance. Honestly, did not have a chance. Too busy, huh? It just, yeah, dude, because we, we get back from a park, scarf some food down, and, like, try to get to sleep to wake up for the next one, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I mean, there's, Disney's not just Disney anymore. So, I mean, to do our thing, you'd need, like, a month, you know? <laughs> we Hey, man, we I'll say this. We did really, really well, and we used their – their fast pass system and stuff like that. And we rode most everything we wanted to ride. Yeah. And saw most everything we wanted to see. I didn't get to do the carousel of progress and I'm bummed about that just because that's a classic that? that I always, uh, it, it was, it was an old thing where it's a, it's a rotating like seating room and you're rotating around different scenes and it's like technology increasing in the future. And it's, it's just a hmm. classic that's been there since, like, the park first opened. But. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, you, you know, so me on the, uh, the comment on one of your pictures there. <laughs> what was the... Uh... One of the rides, I said, I said, dude, in front of you, looks like Dr. Dre. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I didn't respond, but I popped. Okay. <laughs> he did. His eyes look like, he looked like Dr. Dre. He was like, mask on, but from the mask up, he looked like Dr. Dre. <laughs> what yeah, ride was we, that? Uh, that, so that was test track, and, and you'll actually go in. Now I don't know if it ch actually changes anything, but you like put it put in these different things on a car, and it runs you through a simulator. And supposedly, what you change on the car like changes the handling and the power and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to change the ride each time. We only rode it once because it had a kind of a long wait, but it was a really mm -hmm. fun ride. So what's the longest line you had to stay? In? What was the time wise? Was the longest you had to wait? So. That, that Genie Plus thing with the lightning lanes, it dropped literally in the middle of our trip, right? It yeah. dropped on the Tuesday that we had off from the park. So we had to do full lines on the first two days. And we mm -hmm. found on the first two days what would be posted. Like we stood, we got in one that said 45 minutes. Mm. And we ended up waiting maybe 25. Wow. So they were going faster. Uh, the lo longest thing we had to get in line for, I'll tell you right now, uh, Remy's Ratatouille. And that's one that you had to do a virtual queue anyway. So mm -hmm. we showed up at our virtual queue time and still had wow. a solid 45 minutes in line. Whew. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. uh, it was the longest by far. Um, Space Mountain would have been the longest, but they have like it's not one of those you can use lightning lanes on. You have to buy an individual uh -huh. pass. And we were just going to wait it out because we didn't want we had already bought one. We didn't want to do it again. But their queue line was in the sun. Mm hmm. So after about 15 minutes of that, next thing I know, Christy grabs me and she goes, I bought the tickets. Let's go. <laughs> and we went through the lightning lane. Um, but no, so the longest was Remy's Ratatouille, probably. And it was, it was about 45 minutes. Wow. Um, it was a lot of fun. I don't know, man. Wait, that's a long time. To <laughs> no, that one was a long wait. And it was made even worse because we had this annoying teenager behind us speaking in TikTok and Instagram language. Oh my god! And just being like really annoying. Was it Patrick Mahomes' brother? <laughs> no, this was this was a young lady. Okay. <laughs> oh, Patrick Mahomes' wife. <laughs> she's she was like, I wish I had my camera. This would be a good TikTok, and I'm like, uh, no, it wouldn't, because it would be me strangling you. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, we went to Epcot on Food and Wine Festival. So, you know, we got to try try some foods from a couple different booths. Mm. Uh, I had escargot from the French booth. That was weird. Oh, was it bad as we thought it was going to be? Yeah, it, it reminded me of the consistency of liver. Oh. And kind yeah. of actually kind of the taste of liver. Huh. Um, not something I'll be eating again, <laughs> but, but something I tried. And it wasn't disgusting, but just I didn't like it enough to go, I don't mind that it's snails. <laughs> Well, what was good there that you did eat? Oh, uh, bro, we we had, there's this place called Mac and Eats, which is just mac and cheese, and we <laughs> had some we had some cowboy macaroni, which is uh, brisket barbecue and macaroni, and some some kind of sauce, and it was amazing. Mm. Uh, I got poutine from the Canada Pavilion, but I love poutine anyway, so I knew I'd love well, it. Like it anyway, yeah, yeah, I love poutine. Um, trying to think what what else we ate. Uh, Margarita in Mexico. That was good. Hmm. We had just eaten the poutine. We had, didn't have any room for Mexican food. So margarita yeah. it was. <laughs> um, but we like we didn't pick we didn't pig out. Like we'd just get little stuff to try like in 
the Australia p- pavilion. It was like it was sh- we got like some shrimp, so like with a certain kind of spice on it or whatever. And it's Vegemite, whatever it's called. <laughs> huh? On the Barbie? Vegemite. Vegemite? No, Vegemite. It did not have Vegemite on it. No. <laughs> well, I don't know if Vegemite's that's... made for seafood, but uh, I can tell you it's not. Um, yeah. Ugh. I like it on, on a little bit of toast. I've never had it, so I can say Toast, a little butter, sure. Vegemite, and cheese is pretty good, but it's really I... easy to overdo Vegemite. <laughs> a little goes a long way with Vegemite. Wrong way, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, so I had a good little, good little trip there. It was, fun the- time, it was fun times, man. I'm glad to be back, though. It was one of those vacations, especially with the last half going how it was. Yeah. Like, there was something that felt really good about pulling into our driveway, and especially about laying down in our own bed. Yeah, that's the thing about vacation. It's like, you can't wait to go, but you can't wait, then you can't wait to get back home, you know? <laughs> It's, it's, you know, it don't matter where you, you know, it's always, home's always a good thing to see. You're always re- ready to leave, but you're always ready to go back, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it don't really matter where you go on vacation. And, and you know, to be honest, we were missing our cats. Like, we probably could have left after Disney and been fine. But, yeah. you know, we had this idea that we were going to sit by the beach and do nothing and relax. <laughs> yeah, somebody had other, other plans. Yeah, that part <laughs> didn't happen, but. Yeah. Oh, well. You just write it, write it off in your book of experiences. You know, absolutely. I, we had, I had some fun stories to tell for tonight. Do what? I said I had some fun stories to tell for tonight, and I I got to well, complain about a hotel for once. Yeah, he's it's usually me complaining, but uh, I got so I hadn't had a I hadn't went nowhere or did anything. All I'm saying, I guess I complained about was my stupid apartment. They're not they're not going to budge on the rent to resign our lease. So that's going to suck, but. Sounds that I ain't got nothing to complain or plug. <laughs> That's usually I usually got, I usually complain about something, but I never got them ready to complain about. It, I guess just you got to go somewhere and have something to you know to complain. But I don't know. I guess I just live a boring boring life, you know. <laughs> oh man, who are we gonna plug this week? Ah oh, well, we got to we got to play our buddy Scott Teal. Yep. With uh, that Burt Prince. <laughs> yeah, tonight, tonight, tonight. Hot off the presses over at crowbarpress.com. Got to plug our buddy Chris Michaels. Christ. Indestructible, the story of the headliner. Pick it up, from, preferably from him. Either look him up on Facebook or get him at a live event. Got to plug the 1976 UWA Thez page over on Facebook. Yeah, Updates every out. couple days. Eh, about twice a week. <laughs> All right. It depends if I have a spot show that, though. Whatever week I'm doing, they had a spot show that week. I'll put it on there, so. So sometimes three times, maybe if I'm lucky. Who knows? <laughs> P- periodic updates. There we go. That'll cover. Oh, it go. Yeah, that sounds that sounds better, <laughs> more accurate. <laughs> uh, our buddy over on YouTube, Monty Carlo, and his WMF Medium Rare YouTube channel. Look for monthly updates. It's about time for him to put one up there, ain't it? I believe it is. Man, I sent him a, a holler and say, "Hey, it's been about a month," which probably has. <laughs> Look, come on, put one up, man. <laughs> uh, and, and then we, we've got uh, we've got T-shirts over at ProWrestlingTees.com backslash Jeremiah Plunkett. We'll also have a page, uh, Plunkett.PWMerch.com. And I went ahead and put it out there. The name may change, but I've got a store frontier page, um, which will actually have the Territory Wrestling Review T-shirt as well as the Heels Don't Get Happy Ending t T-shirt and other wrestling-related T-shirts that I've got in in mind. Uh, you actually haven't seen the heels have get don't get happy endings T-shirt, have you? No, I haven't. That's oh, all. Okay. So real quick, this is over at storefrontier.com, and just search Plunky's gimmick table. That's the name I had on here before. That name still may change, but I'm going ahead and going with it. Um, Storefrontier is really cool. Whereas on Pro Wrestling Tees uh, and most other sites, you're basically just going to get it in a T-shirt, maybe a sweat jacket. This gives you opportunities to get it on tie dye, on tank tops, women's, men's, everything. So, and yeah, I am actually five. going to, I'm going to share <laughs> my screen so you can see the heels don't get happy endings T-shirt. My things, my it's froze up still on my side here. Oh, bum, bummer! So yeah. it, it's it's not showing that I'm trying to share my screen. No, I'll see it's both my screen. Me and you both are frozen on both boxes. Uh, on here. All right. Well, heck, 
anyway, guys, check out <laughs> the, check out the store frontier page. Um, I, I've been talking to Quentin about some of the uh, some of the ideas. Well, specifically one of the ideas that I got coming up about a shirt. So I'm hoping I can get a design done. Uh, that that page is going to be. I may end up eventually moving all my personal designs over there, but as of right now, it's just going to be wrestling related stuff. You know, some stuff that we've talked about on here, some stuff that we have joked about, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking about making, you know, rough and ready t-shirts and stuff like that, but somebody's kind of beat us to it. So I'd have to take a new, uh, new approach at it, but just stuff to highlight wrestling stuff that we think is funny or entertaining or bringing back something classic. Wow. Uh, so yeah, that'll be over at the store frontier page. It may get the other shirts. It may not. I don't know yet. I don't know what we're doing with it, but it's a little project to have some of the other cute, funny stuff on there. Anybody else? <laughs> uh, subscribe to NWA Power over on Fight TV. Okay, my screen just went haywire. You still hear me? I can still hear you. Uh, that that might me? be a sign. We might need to go ahead and sign off this thing. I don't know what crap is happening. Can you still see me though? Yep. Okay. Yeah, did you plug your Fight TV gimmick? Yep. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't know. My, my screen, just, my thing's been all off all night long. So We need to abandon uh, shit before it gets worse. Yeah. So, uh, you got anything else to add? I have nothing else left to add. All right. If you're done, I'm done. Stick a fork in her. She's done. For Jeremiah Plunkett, Quint Charisma. Hey, that's me. Thanks for listening. God bless. Goodbye, everybody.